Good afternoon, everybody. Today is January 21st, uh, Thursday, 2010. And once again, we got snow. How much snow, you ask? I looked at it. I think we might have about four or five inches on the ground. And today, I'm actually going to be getting the battery out of this. The uh, 1985 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. Um, I just finished all the work on it. Um, interior is still in there, but I'm probably going to be taking it out when I get another Jeep to uh, be a parts donor. The real parts donor. Not like uh, the Dodge over there. Unless I needed a transmission. Here's what it looks like on the inside so far. Doesn't really, doesn't smell like gas anymore. Because uh, I unplugged the gas can. And I wired up the tank. The tank is back in. And that's, it's all set up. So I just need to put gas into it. The hoses, unfortunately, are not, uh, are not new. So, they're going to have to be replaced. My four-wheel drive. And actually, I got my clock working again. So, it's looking good. Uh, if my luck goes well, it should be all legalized by tomorrow or next Monday. There we go. Tire's still flat, so I can't really go anywhere with it. So, what I need to do right now is I need to get out of battery because uh, I'm going to be riding in the Dodge W200. Everyone should remember that from when when we first got it started. Ah! Nice and clean inside. That's what I'm looking for. So, when my ride comes along, I'll be able to show it to you guys. Probably do some sledding. That's the main reason. So, I imagine how quiet, how much more uh, quieter the hood would sound when you put the uh, when you put that uh, 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 insulation inside, make it sound less of a hull and more of a truck. Got a mini glacier going. And this goes to show how much snow collected on top of the truck. Here's the uh, four new tires, and it's going to be able to go on this truck in a couple of days, probably. And the the meat on that, there's still meat. It looks pretty cool. So give that a shot. And yeah, that's it for right now. I will post up another video. Yep. Ah. Oh, sweet. This is a cool tool. Yeah, it's just pretty coming in pretty handy. How long ago did you get that? <coughs> um, last week. Ah, oh. it was. You're going to be able to start this beast up again. Yeah. Get it going. Hey, Gramps, so I'm going to go inside. Okay, go ahead, Gramps. Okay. Oh, that's the jack. It's supposed to go over here. Oh, is that where it goes? Yo! All right. 
Hey! You should have asked me for that fast start. Oh, man. Get it some pumpage. Here we go! Sounds really good. It's been a while since the last uh, started this puppy up, but here's a 1977. I finally got it corrected this time. It's 77 Dodge W200. Uh, oh, do you remember it? I think it's, um, I think it's, uh, or low up. I'm gonna close, uh, close the hood and then grab a windshield. Okay. Alright. Is that... Oh, this is the one that was uh, locked up. Yes, it, it when it warms up, it's gonna come as heat. Yeah, I don't think this heater works like the controls up here, and it just lets out defrost. And I have it idling right now. Okay, NP203. Turn the lights all the way off. They are off. Oh, there we go. Okay. Turn them on and, and push your uh, other light here. Okay. Just testing the lights out and then they work. That higher low beam with the both on. Uh, it's high. High beam actually, are they both on now? No. Uh, this is, like, yeah, like that. This is low beam. Huh, shit, what the I'm gonna do about that? I like this situation. I don't know. It might have to be uh, fixed in the on the inside. Is that what we were debating last time? Or just, you no, know, I don't remember. Because I think that's what it was. It might have just, it feels like it came loose. You know? 